we got to look back on the weekend and name our super fantasy player of the week presented by Supercuts. Now, despite the loss, we got to give it to Kyrie Irving, who went for 65.75 DraftKings fantasy points in Boston on Sunday. He put up 39 points, five rebounds, six assists, and four steals. He was the highest scoring player on either Saturday or Sunday slate this weekend. He's gonna, he cost you 10,200 to roster. So now I got to ask the panel, you guys, on tonight's three game slate, Who's worth paying up for? I, like Nick, who's going to put up those Kyrie numbers? Yeah, I know James Harden had himself a big game over the weekend as well, and he's not going to cost you as much as Kyrie did on Sunday. Um, but the guy that I like most right now is Donovan Mitchell um, at 8.1K. Of course, he's the only guy in that range, of course, with a smaller slate. Uh, but the big thing for me is he put up similar numbers in terms of fantasy production to Harden, and he was $1,000 cheaper, 1000 DK dollars cheaper. Um, so you're going to be able to save with this guy. The big thing for me is he's going to get a ton of shots up there. This Mavericks team, I know we're going to talk about him a little more as we go along, but they just don't belong without Luka Doncic. They wouldn't, I don't think they would be here without Luka Doncic as much as it was only what a five point game, six point game last time out. Uh, so I don't have a ton of respect for them right now. And Donovan Mitchell, maybe he's not going to get you as much in the way of rebounds or, the, or assists, but he's going to get a ton of shots up. And I think it's going to make a big difference for him going against a team that just can't hang with the Jazz right now. All right, Matt, who's worth paying up for tonight on this slate? So I'm going to mirror some of what Nick is saying and take Rudy Gobert. I, I feel the same about the Mavericks. If this is an offense that shouldn't be that good, and I think the rebounds will be there for Gobert. He had 17 of them last game. The block shots will be there. He had three of those. But he only took one field goal attempt and had five points all coming from the foul line. I think that the offense picks up for Gobert. Like The game was too close for Utah. I think that he probably mixed some things up going forward. And this is also a slate where Jokic is playing and Embiid's playing. Those will be the focus, the the two main focuses at center. And Gobert just gets overlooked as a result of that because Jokic is amazing and Embiid's amazing. They're playing bigger minutes in the playoffs. But Rudy Gobert is as well. And I think the week game one might mean that people overlook him for game two. 